so we have our second gameplay of the day we just did the team of the week mike evans but now we have the team of the week ltd the guy who just ran for 170 yards and a touchdown mr deandre swift and this card looks absolutely insane as you guys know we've been on a running back hiatus for like three weeks it's been bo jackson and bo jackson only that's the only running back you see out there so it's finally a new guy on the field we're gonna test him out for you guys here today we're gonna pass the ball to him do everything we can to involve him in the game plan but as you guys know we do game plays on all the brand new cards we do top tens as well if you're enjoying the content make sure that like and hit that subscribe we also stream on twitch every single day as well go drop a follow over there but anyways let's get right into it if you were looking for cheap fast madden coins to build that god squad you always wanted head over to my sponsor easy mutt and use code chew for five percent off your order the link is in the description all right boys so we are buying him for 850k he is very expensive yes very expensive that's kind of a negative when you look at it because if we go ahead and take a look back at the 88 running back market you can see 850k comparative to like any other 88 running back or even just bo jackson the guy that's been amazing in the game 280k it's a really really steep price and we might even be getting 89 overall running backs tomorrow i don't know but let's take a look at this card and his abilities mr deandre swift sitting at an 88 overall he actually gets 88 speed but as you guys know he was the season one player and if you have all of your season one players in your lineup at once you get a boost of plus one speed for those cards so like guys like jalen ramsey and deandre hopkins were faster right and jalen ramsey is a guy you want to boost right now in the game and the biggest question is with deandre swift does he get the season one chemistry and no he does not get the season one chemistry. So it, yes, it is a little bit hard to put him on the field because you are losing a plus one speed on your Jalen Ramsey card. But when you're looking at him as a running back, if you're an Eagles theme team, a Lions theme team, this dude is absolutely nuts. 88 uh, speed, 87 excel, 89 agility. The carrying is good. The catching is way better than Bo Jackson as well. He has 87 change of direction. The break tackle is good. I want to, uh, uh, abilities before we compare him to Bo Jackson. The abilities are also no running back apprentice, which is a little bit tough. He doesn't have the 80 shore earning, which you want to see we are going to be using jukebox and second win on him to keep that stamina up but if we compare him to our guy bo who we still do currently have on the team he actually does look pretty decent you can see he is very good against a lot of stats and catching is one of the bigger ones but as you guys know bo is also very big in game and he falls forward a lot let's go see how the swift plays man i don't know what it is but in the game plays i i normally get the ball first in every normal game but in game plays i am just the most unlucky man in the world but it looks like we're taking on Bij I just ran into my own player right there. It looks like we're taking on Bijan Robinson in the backfield here today. I have not recorded a running back gameplay. Like I said, for three weeks nearly now. I think Campus Heroes came out almost like basically three weeks. It'd be three weeks tomorrow, I think, right? Because we got ultimate kickoff and Campus Heroes was right before then. It has been a long, long time. Looks like this guy. I don't know. Is he? What was he doing right there? I don't know. I don't know what happened right there for a second. Let's. Oh, he almost got through. Okay. I'm feeling good about this run defense. Third and five. Let's try to get off the field early on defensive side of the ball. And we're going to get ourselves a sack. We might be able to force a punt on a three and out to start off the game. That would be a beautiful way to get our running back that we just bought off the field or onto the field. Here we go, boys. So I know DeAndre Swift actually moves really good in game. I got to use his card when he first initially came out, that old, old card, right? But as you guys know, a juiced up version, one of the best like statistic cards in the game. He should be absolutely amazing in this one. And we are getting pancakes all over the place. And you guys can see with that jukebox, DeAndre Swift already starting off hot. I don't know how large of a run that was, but pretty big, pretty big run. DeAndre Swift fantasy owner as well. I am very, very happy to see this card on the field. Obviously, it's a little tough with Kenneth Gainwell coming back. I don't know how good he's going to be from here on out. But as a Madden card, this card should be an animal. I'm actually hoping we don't get a running back tomorrow because I kind of want an excuse to keep this card or rebuy him back tomorrow if I do sell him after this gameplay. But as of right now, I'm really liking that juke move as they're averaging 15 yards of carry. All right, let's get it, boys. DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. Let's see if we can get a screen going on the cross side right here. And DeAndre Swift in open space. Not the best stick work in the world, but we did fall forward. That's what we want to see out of your running backs. All right, all right, all right. We're going back to the same play we started the game off. It was our best run yet of the day. Let's see if we can kick it all the way to the outside again. Ah, it's a little tough, man. We have one-on-ones, kind of, but that backside lineman is coming through. I don't know. It's a little tough to run the ball every single play, especially in such an easy passing Madden. I feel like I got to get our guy involved maybe underneath. Swift, we need a first right here. Ah, we're at a nasty fourth and three, man. I can't run the ball that much. Even in a gameplay, I feel like it's just not realistic to play that way. I feel like I got to keep involving him everywhere else, right? Let's pick it up. Swift is actually blocking on this play. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We are desperate for a first down. And honestly, nothing really seemed open here. We had to force something crazy to George Pickens. What a nasty, gritty drive. I, like I said, I have not ran a running back gameplay in three weeks. It's been only one, honestly, in Madden. It was that Bo Jackson. So it's a little bit different right now. But it looks like we're actually having some really nice success on the outside right here. And look at Swift, another 10-yard plus run. 
Oh, what did, I, I want to try the screen again. Maybe we could break this out for a touchdown across the board. Is he ready for it? I don't know if he was, man. We are going to get a block to the outside. Can we get that juke? And you guys can see DeAndre Swift. So close for the touchdown. Come on, man. Actually, we're not going to get the touchdown. We are going to force the rage quit. Let's get into game number two. All right, so don't ask in game two how we're already trailing 7-0. That doesn't matter. All that matters is we need a touchdown with DeAndre Swift. At least one in this gameplay, right? And our guy, our tight end, just got thrown down by a corner. You guys saw that? Man, we took a bad hit stick right there, too. I had to wait a little bit. He was kind of tired out there. DeAndre Swift took one hit stick, and he was already out there with stamina bars, and he almost got all the way out. What? So close to that juke move. Come on. I actually really like the second chance or second win, whatever it's called. This ability allows these guys to stay on the field much, much longer for me. And we keep on running this 0-1 trap right here, and he clicked onto the wrong guy. Oh, we're so close every single time to going all the way. This is definitely an elusive back Madden, 100%. You want guys that can get the fast juke, especially if they can get a jukebox as well. And we're going to get DeAndre Swift in open space as much as possible. We need a little bit of a better block right there on JC Horn, Gene Upshaw. I'm not going to lie to you. With that price tag, we need a better block. really like this formation. They have good screens. This Owen Trap is amazing. It's like weird out of tight. I'll take it every single day. A nice little run like that. And look at that. All the way to the next level again. Swift is dominating, dude. I know we're not doing the craziest things in the world, but every time he gets to the open field, he's at least making one guy miss. So we've ran this formation. Every time we have, it's been a screen or the 0-1 trap. Let's see if the outside zone will do any good over here. Maybe we can get to the outside. And yes, sir, Mr. Swifty again. Averaging literally nearly 10 yards a carry. This is ridiculous. I may have just found my running back like gameplay scheme. It's just this tight right here. They have so many good runs out of it. I could run the Owen trap, the outside zone, the screen plays. And every single time, we're not getting touched until five yards down the field. All right, boys, we're going to put him on a wheel route. I'm hoping he's not playing a cover high safety, and it looks like he is. But as you got, oh, his user's over there. The Andre Swift with Buda Baker right on him. He holds on. It was kind of a risky ball, but as you guys know, with a 75 catching, that basically feels like 85 when it comes to like a wide receiver. They're going to catch everything as a running back, and that was a beautiful throw, beautiful catch. Can't get much better than that in a running back gameplay, by the way. All right, all it takes is one stop on defense. With the way our offense is moving, and we chewed a lot of that first quarter out, I think we're going to look very good regardless. Come on, Crow. I need a better man, though. One stop, boys. One, 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 one stop, and he's actually... I thought he... I'm not going to lie. He got me with that play action. He held that one for a long time. The defense has been kind of cruised as of late. Let's see if we can get through with this blitz and another hit at the quarterback. Does he punt the ball in the fourth and 19, especially after what his defense just went through? Uh-oh, he's going for it, man. This might be over here. I'm going to continue to send the crib at him, man, especially this far down the field. I don't want to give him enough time. And we almost got a safety to end it off. Just like that, we're going to get another rage quit. I mean, we just dominated once again, man. Swift is looking good, not only in one game, but two games in a row right there. All right, so now that we're done with the gameplay, that was one of the most fun ones I've recorded. As of now, I know a lot of people are probably questioning him or Bo Jackson. I think Bo is probably still better for most people in the game, especially with how easy Cam's hero is. And also, I don't think you... Bo Jackson's going to fall forward just so much more. I mean, he's just kind of like the no-skill running back, whatever you want to call him. He gets it's the good juke movies big swift is a lot more expensive but if you have coins like that you like swift like i'm good probably gonna do i really do enjoy this swift card he was a lot of fun to use i might hold on to him but we get some new cards tomorrow may be getting a running back so i don't know i'd probably hold off over you guys but if i if you enjoyed the video make sure that like it that subscribe run that road to 35,000 subs we are so so close hope to see you guys in the next video which is obviously going to be a gridiron gameplay tomorrow i'll see you guys there peace out boys